it is not normal that your periods are so painful that it interferes with your daily activities. Hello there, I'm Dr. Lucy, a general medical doctor. Welcome to Know Your Health with Dr. Lucy. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about painful periods, which is medically known as dysmenorrhea. There are basically two types of painful periods, which is primary dysmenorrhea and secondary dysmenorrhea. Primary dysmenorrhea is painful periods that occurs without any underlying disease in the uterus or the reproductive organs. In other words, you do not have any problem with your reproductive system and everything is normal. You generally feel unwell and you can feel symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, dizziness, headache, and some people can even faint. This pain generally lasts for three days and then you feel better afterwards. So the question is, if everything is normal in the reproductive system, then why should I still feel the pain? This pain is due to a chemical known as prostaglandins, which is released in the uterus during the menstruation. This chemical stimulates the uterus to contract. So when the uterus is contracting, the blood vessel supplying the uterus is narrowed. And that means that the oxygen supply to the uterine muscles is reduced and this causes the pain. Though there is not any problem with this type of painful periods, there are some factors that can make you suffer from primary dysmenorrhea, like starting your periods before the age of 12, being obese, being a smoker, and having someone in your family that has ever suffered from primary dysmenorrhea. Or if you've never had children, because we all know that painful periods tend to improve after having children. In other words, this type of painful periods is more common among the teenage girls. There is actually no treatment needed for this type of painful periods. All we do here is to try and reduce the pain. You can actually use home remedies to do away with this pain, like lying on your tummy. Others find that using hot water bottles on their tummy does reduce this pain. And the other thing is exercise. And when I mean exercise, I do not mean lifting heavy loads or running miles. I mean simple exercises like stretching, lifting up your legs, and that can help reduce the pain. And then the medication you can take is NSAIDs. NSAIDs are like painkillers, for example, ibuprofen. You can take this three times in a day, depending on the intensity of your pain. And you can accompany it with paracetamol. This will help reduce the pain. But please take this medication with caution because it is not allowed in some people with ulcers. So if you know you have ulcers, then it is good for, to get consultation from your doctor so that they advise you the right medication to take. Now let's talk about the second type of painful periods, which is secondary dysmenorrhea. So this type of painful periods occurs when there is an underlying medical condition affecting the uterus or the reproductive organs. In other words, there's a problem going on with the uterus, the fallopian tube, and the ovaries. Actually, the pain in primary dysmenorrhea is quite different from that of secondary dysmenorrhea. In secondary dysmenorrhea, you notice that your periods were quite normal all this while. But the moment you clock in your 20s or around 30s, then you notice that the type of pain you're experiencing is far different from the previous ones. The pain becomes more intense and it can even start way before you start your periods. And when you get into your periods, the pain becomes worse. You notice that even when your periods are gone, the pain is still there. You notice other symptoms as well. For example, bloating in your tummy, bleeding in between periods, heavy bleeding, and even bleeding after sex. So now let's talk about some of the common causes of secondary dysmenorrhea. I will not talk about these causes in details because I will make a separate video talking about these causes in details, but I will mention some of them. We have endometriosis, adenomyosis, pelvic inflammatory diseases, and fibroids, plus many others. So if you know you've been going through this kind of pain that I've described in secondary dysmenorrhea, then you need to consult your doctor because this is not just mere painful periods, but you may be having a serious condition that requires urgent medical treatment. 
I hope this answers some of your questions about painful periods. And if you watch this video up to this end, please do well to like and subscribe to this channel because I'll be dropping videos like this every week and you do not need to miss. Till next time, bye.